All right, so let's talk about swing trading. What's going on team? It's Ricky with TacBud Solutions and this video is an introduction to swing trading. So um, this video is actually going to be uh, highlighting one of my learn plan profit traders. Uh, obviously, you know, we, we have a decent sized YouTube channel. We have a decent sized free Facebook group. Um, and we obviously go through a lot of traders that end up joining and wanting to learn more about the stock market. Day trading is naturally, I think, one of the things that is the most attractive as someone is just getting started. I simply want to share with you uh, some of the key points on why, why maybe swing trading when you're just getting started might actually be a more fluid transition. So I'm gonna use Eddie as an example. Eddie actually signed up for Learn Plan Profit uh, last Friday. Uh, and this week he took one trade, one swing trade. Um, you know, everyone sees value in different ways. I'm just gonna use him as an example. Uh, he was able to close a little bit over $1,600 profit on a three to four day swing trade. He closed it out over the weekend, right? On SQQQ. He trades with about $20,000, so he's still under the PDT rule. So I'm just gonna quickly talk about some of the incentives uh, of swing trading versus day trading. First off, if you wanna day trade and that's your focus, I'm not here to convince you to swing trade. I'm a big believer in you pursuing the market in any way that you see it you know, just or the most value in. So if you wanna to continue to day trade, all power to you. This video is not to convince you. I just think that as someone is just getting started, maybe taking a more relaxed approach, more, you know, the, the way that I view swing trading to be, uh, can allow you to really make uh, a more informed decision. So instead of trying to trade multiple times every single day, which can be either very exhausting and or um, almost forcing trades. And I feel like that's that's a comment that we get from a lot of people that are just getting started where they feel like they always need to be in front of a screen, forcing entries, forcing exits, and it's somewhat counterproductive because when you're just getting started, you kind of don't know what you're looking for, right? Uh, the way that I like to kind of preach and encourage beginner traders is I like to I like to keep trading simple as or as simple as possible. So I'm gonna just use what we tend to focus on as an example, but there's these kinds of ETFs and or uh, niches for, for everything, right? There's there's ETFs and inverse ETFs for oil, for gold, for you know um, cannabis. There's literally uh, maybe for any interest or any sector that you see a lot of value in. I would encourage you to see if there's an ETF and an inverse ETF that follows those specific markets. These are Nasdaq ETFs. So when one goes up, the other one goes down. That's what I mean by inverse. And the reason that that is kind of useful is that instead of always having to trade and, and, and scan for stocks every single morning, that can be kind of exhausting, especially as you're just getting started and especially when you don't really know what you're looking for. If you have a big focus and you can really niche down, this NASDAQ ETF has a big focus on tech. So the first thing is understanding what influences these, you know, this NASDAQ index. So if I can have a better understanding in what influences NASDAQ index, then I can at least understand and digest news that is being shared and how the market will then react, right? I can make sense of what is happening. It's very difficult when you're trying to trade a cannabis stock and then you're going long on a tech stock and then you're trying to short an oil ETF. Those are all different sectors, right? That's very complicated and it's not impossible, but it just makes it more challenging. Keeping trading simple. That's a focus for 2022, right? So by focusing on my main um, niche, my example is the NASDAQ index, which focuses on tech. I only need to pay attention to and stay up to date with news and with overall market direction. As many of you guys have recently seen, We've seen that the NASDAQ market has gained, a NASDAQ ETF, TQQQ, in the past two weeks has gained 60%. This is a triple leveraged ETF, meaning that every time that the NASDAQ market moves 1%, this ETF moves 3%. So the NASDAQ market has recovered 20% in the past two weeks. That means that TQQQ has recovered 60%. And it has not really pulled back until recently. This is why Eddie and our Learn Plan Profit team began to prepare for this pullback. So when the NASDAQ market began to experience its resistance level and then began to indicate signs of a slight pullback, that's when we began to take our short-term swing trade on SQQQ. 
It had a nice little rally. It gapped up about 10 to 15%. Very nice, right? So with that being said, we're able to not have to force a trade every single day and be concerned about the PDT rule. But with swing trading, as long as I'm entering a quality swing trade and I see that direction is in my favor, so NASDAQ market's pulling back, SQQQ goes up when the NASDAQ market drops. So the great thing about that is that when I get that confirmation, I can enter my swing trade. And then when it begins to approach its support level here for TQQQ, that means that this might be at its resistance level. So I'll lock in profits. One thing that I also want to make sure that I preach, and again, this is just a very um, open example, obviously not going very in depth. Uh, but one of the things that you always need to understand is that depending on what niche you're focused on, there's always going to be one of those ETFs that are always or tends to be the most bullish, meaning that tech, as in the NASDAQ market, is more bullish for the past year to two years, the, its overall lifetime, than it is bearish. So what you then need to understand is that then TQQQ is the bull ETF. That one goes up more consistently than SQQQ. So the way that I view that is that I have my bull ETF, which is considered less risky, and then my bear ETF, SQQQ, which is considered of higher risk. The only times that I trade SQQQ or swing trade SQQQ is when I actually have confirmation that the, mar the, that the market's beginning to pull back. And I think that's one of the great things about this is that I don't need to be going back and forth every single time, right? I focus on true direction. So when I see that there's a continuous uptrend pattern, I will stay invested in TQQQ with a decent position size. Enough money that I feel motivated to take it seriously, but not so much that at any little pullback, I become an emotional mess. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And only when we're overbought enough that it's due for a little retracement, that is when I begin to prepare and lock in profits on TQQQ and then begin to prepare to enter a swing trade or a day trade if I don't want to take on that risk on SQQQ. And that's exactly what Eddie did, right? We were able to identify overbought levels for TQQQ, locked in profits there. We anticipated this pullback. And then once we got confirmation, we took a small position and averaged up into it. And it's very easy to do that because again, the overall direction is in our favor. So we allowed SQQQ to really rise and TQQQ to bleed. Now we're back at that support level. We're back at that resistance level. We locked in profits on SQQQ. And then guess what we wait for? We don't have to be in one or the other. I can stay cash right now, which means that I'm not in a position. And then now I wait. If TQQQ begins to recover, I'll begin to average up into that specific ETF. But if TQQQ ends up breaking below that support, then I can re-enter SQQQ and make money as the market pulls back. Again, it might sound complicated, but if you compare it to anything else out there, I'm only focusing on two pairs. One goes up and the other goes down. It's that simple. And I'm not trying to encourage you to trade these ETFs. All I'm trying to share with you is that maybe taking time, asking yourself, what niche is the most attractive to you and seeing if it actually offers a pair of ETFs. How cool would it be? Let's say that you're into cannabis. Not saying that you are, but let's say that you are, right? There's a, a series of cannabis ETFs. One goes up when the other one goes down. You know, if you're already so informed about the cannabis industry, then learn more and become a true professional in just that niche. You don't have to know everything about everything keep trading simple, right? That's kind of my encouragement when it comes down to this um, kind of swing trade challenge that we have going on. It's that day trading is cool, but it takes time to understand when to enter, when to exit, and you know when the risk to reward ratio is in your favor. You need to learn how to walk before you run. I think swing trading is a very fluid way to be able to transition into the market even while you are under the PDT rule. So I thought I'd break it down for you guys. So again, I really hope that you guys like this explanation. Huge shout out to Eddie for al allowing me uh, to use you as an example. And again, friendly reminder, uh, we are having our little swing trade challenge with our Learn Plan Profit Group. If you guys wanna learn a little bit more about that and to see if it's a good fit for you, we actually have a coupon down below. It's $100 off Learn Plan Profit. And if you're ready to join our team, that's that second link in the description. That gets you lifetime access to the A to Z video lesson library that's designed for absolute beginners. Gives you lifetime access to our daily live trading sessions where you get to watch me trade live 
every single day at Market Open. You get lifetime access to our private group chat. And now you get access to our TechBuds Trading HQ. It's the first ever in-person trading uh, office space. And again, we're located in Chandler, Arizona. That's all inclusive within Learn Plan Profit 2.0. If you want to learn more about it and to see if it's a good fit for you, that's that second link down below. I hope that we earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team. Well.